Alright, so I'm going to bring you another short tutorial on emulators and whatnot. And this is basically just going to be configuration. I get the occasional message, you know, how do I how do I play something? How do I change this configuration or the input or the buttons pressed or whatever? So basically, you would go up to config and input is going to be the main stuff. And these are going to be your devices if you have a, like a gamepad plugged in like I do, but it's not exactly on right now. It's an Xbox controller, and uh, if you want to know how to use an Xbox controller, then there is a tutorial of that up in my channel description already. It's been in existence for a while. Now, basically, uh, I'm not going to hit either one of these. One of these will uh, run you through every single one of these where you can just push a button or a key, and it will uh, assign it to that. These are for my Xbox uh, keys. If you want to play like how I do, it's a pretty easy, simple setup to go through. Um, usually... If you go with this setup to play Mario Hacks, usually uh, X is run slash hold something and A is jump. And I think B is spin jump and I can't remember what Y is. Y might be spin jump too, I can't remember. But usually it's just, I just use X, A, and B for an Xbox 360 controller. I use the analog sticks. You can use the D-pad too if you wanted, but I use the analog sticks. And this basically, uh, I'll get into saving and rewinding all that stuff. But if you want to, hopefully you can see these. But uh, if you want to copy down my settings and use them, this is what it will look like for an Xbox controller. If you are using a keyboard or a different controller, it's going to look a little bit different. Couldn't help you. This is for an Xbox controller. Uh, you're going to have to figure the other stuff out on your own because I've never had to do it, so I wouldn't know. Uh, basically, I got this stuff through trial and error and what felt best to me. If you want to mess with your saves, it's still under config, but it's going to be under saves this time. Um, this is going to be like how... How bad? Uh, how far back you can go for a rewind? I mean, usually I don't have to rewind much, so I usually just have it set as this. And then down here are gonna be your save, load, and rewind uh, hotkeys or button mapping, if you will. Uh, save is the left bumper for me. Load is the right bumper. Rewind is the left trigger, and I think load is somewhere else. I think it might be under speed. Oh, no, fast forward, I'm sorry. Fast forward is going to be under speed. And uh, I usually have that set to the right trigger, which uh, it works out pretty well. And that's pretty much all I have for configuration. I don't know what any of those other stuff paths. I have no idea. Um, I don't mess with any of that stuff. So basically, if you want to uh, go through and configure your Xbox controller or your keyboard, if you're just trying to figure out how to configure it, Basically, this would be how to get to it, and these are my settings for the Xbox 360 controller, and again, saves will be under saves. Uh, this is save, load, rewind, and then under speed, you would find your fast forward, which uh, fast forward is not so useful unless you're in a really slow part trying to fast forward something, obviously, but I usually don't use fast forward too much, and hopefully that answered some questions. I get this question occasionally, figure I might as well... Just make a video about it eventually, and now here it is. So that should cover everything on this controller. I mean, you might be able to uh, switch some of it so it feels better for you. That's just what feels best for me. And that's pretty much it. 